All right, now I want to cover just some different live bait techniques to catch snook or anything else. But snook, uh, all these predators, you know, like these things a certain way, I found anyways. Uh, and there's different ways you can use a bait differently. Do you want your bait to stay on top if it's really shallow water? Well, we're going to show you how to hook them. If you don't care if it dives down, if it just swims this way and that way, we're going to show you how to hook them. Uh, if it's a shrimp and you're getting snagged up all the time, we'll show you how to hook them where you can pitch them up under docks or in oyster bars or whatever you need to do. And if you're in a deep water situation like an inlet, I'm going to show you what I believe is the best rig. If you got a nice croaker or pinfish or, or mullet and you want to pitch it out there in the current let it go down where the uh, snook are, I'm going to show you how to set up a Jupiter rig too. So that's what we're going to talk about right now. All right, so we're talking about live bait and how to hook them. Uh, you know, say you're fishing with a shrimp. You want to hook them in the head, but don't hit their brain. There's a little dark spot in there. You don't want to hit that or you no longer have a live shrimp. You have a dead shrimp. So you want to hook it. Just miss the brain. Just miss the brain, but have it hooked up here in the front uh, of, of their head. And that's the best if you're free lining the shrimp or if it's underneath the bobber, in my opinion. Uh, that's how I would do it. Okay, if you're fishing a shrimp again and you want to pitch it up to docks or oyster bars or wherever you think the, the fish are mangrove, a lot of times I'll do it just like this. Hook it come up from the belly so the hook's on top. And it's not all the way weedless, but it's much more weedless if you do it that way. And you just pitch that thing up uh, to where you're, you know, whatever it is you're looking for. A lot of people will fish this with a jig head. So I'll just be a jig head there instead of a regular hook. And they'll just kind of bounce it along the bottom, just like you would do uh, with some of those paddle tails or those other lures that we were talking about. It's great for catching all kinds of fish. Snook, actually everything eats shrimp. So basically anything in the, in the water column will eat shrimp. Uh, when it comes to fishing with a mullet. If the, the water is really shallow, I tail hook them. I mean, some people hook them in the belly, but I feel that it rips out too easily. The hook does there and you lose a lot of your baits. So I like to tail hook them and they're going to stay on top of the water for the most part uh, when you tail hook them. That works great if you're free lining them or when you're fishing with a bobber. I think I told you I fish with a bobber quite a bit. Um, just to slow down this mullet because they're very athletic and it's hard for these snook and other predators to catch them sometimes. So I fish a lot with a with a with a um, a mullet tail hooked underneath a bobber. So that's the way I like to fish. And when you're free lining them, you can just hook them in the nose just like that, and you know just they're just going to go everywhere. They're going to go this way, that way, every way. You know, this, these are all the same too, you know, it, it, you got to know what kind of fish it is. So, so if you hook a croaker, for instance, they're a fish that wants to dive down. Okay, so unless you want to fish the bottom, you might want to put a croaker, you know, tail hooked um, underneath the bobber. Same with a pinfish. Pinfish underneath the bobber is deadly for a snook. They love those fish. So these are just different ways to do it. Remember, the hook placement on the fish itself on your live bait is important, so you got to understand that. Okay, and I want to just cover something called the Jupiter rig. The Jupiter rig is a pretty simple setup. You basically have a barrel swivel, then you got an egg sinker, and then you got another barrel swivel, and this swivel can move up and down, roughly six inches in between your barrel swivels or what you're going to want. And then you come on down about 18 more inches to your hook and your live bait down there. Croaker, pinfish, mullet, this is gonna go right on the bottom. And what this rig does, you don't wanna really go much bigger than any of this stuff because your bait will tend to spin in the current and that's not a very good presentation. Whereas if you keep it a little shorter like this, 18 and six, it just kinda of rolls along the bottom. Now, if it's a real rocky inlet, this isn't gonna work that, that well. You're probably gonna get snagged up but you're probably going to get snagged up on whatever system you use. You know, if you had your, your sinker just right here, or if you just had your sinker somewhere up above that where it could slide up and down. But I find that a Jupiter rig works very well, at least in the inlets by me. I'm talking Palm Beach Inlet, 
uh, Jupiter Inlet and um, Fort Pierce Inlet. This is an excellent, excellent way. But try it in your inlet because it doesn't really matter what inlet. An inlet is an inlet. If you're losing a lot of rigs, well, switch it up. You got to change something up if this isn't working for you. But I found this is a great way to present a live bait for snook on the bottom. So that's just a few of my tips and techniques. I mean, there's not much to that, you know, uh, how to hook it. You want it on top, you want it down. You kind of got to know different species of bait you're using. Some just always go down, some want to stay up. But, you know, that's really what you're figuring out is how to hook them and just keeping that, keeping that um, bait alive long enough where you can get bit, you know. So another thing when you're tail hooking them, uh, you only want it barely in there. Barely in there, just enough so when you cast it, it doesn't fly off because you want it to be able to pull out of the fish and hook the snook. So it's in there, but it's not in there too deep. So it's maybe like a quarter inch is really all I ever, ever end up having the hook inside the fish itself. Uh, and that goes for dead bait too. You, know, you want that hook to be able to pull out and actually hook the predator. You know, if they can get it in their mouth and all of a sudden they're swimming off with it and you go to try to set the hook, you can't set the hook because it's too far in the actual bait, well that defeats the whole purpose. But that, I just want to go over this real quick, the live bait part of it, uh, just to give you some of the basics. Next thing we're going to talk about is dead bait fishing.